Lads, what's going on, Gonfia? And today I'm going to be bringing you, as you can probably see from the title, a team full of criminals. Yes, that is right. All these players have at least committed a crime, even been to jail and done some horrific things in their time. I had so much fun making this team, but before I jump into it, lads, if you're looking for a fast, cheap, reliable coin service, FIFA Coin Traders link will be in the description. And let's get started with it, lads. So, first off, we'll start off with our bench. We have got Luis Suarez, who, as all of us know, he has been a little racist bastard. He, If any of you can remember, if you look on YouTube, he actually bit someone's... He tried to bite someone's ear off in the middle of a game. He has just been an absolute... I don't even know what to call it. He's a little shit, to be honest. But yeah, lads, if any of you want to get involved, then leave me a squad to do. Uh, leave me a squad in the comments, and I'll give 30k. If I pick a team that I actually like, I'll give 30k. I did see it last, say it last week, but nobody actually came up with a good enough squad. So if you can come up with a good enough squad... Leave it in the comments, and I'll give away 30k next week. So, let's get it. Then we got Andy Carroll, who actually has been in a lot of... Uh, what am I going to call it? I can't even think of the word. Uh, training ground bust-ups. There we go. He's been in... Tra he actually punched... I can't think who it was. I think it was Steven Taylor. Punched him and broke his jaw. So, I mean, he's been in... He's been done for drink driving and other things as well. We've then got Ben... 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 I can never say his name right. Bedner. Bedner, there we go. He now plays with Juve. He did used to play for Arsenal. He's been caught in, he's been caught drink driving. He's been caught in drunken brawls, I think. And he's just been a little come through his career as well. So glad we've actually got rid of him because he was absolutely terrible. And then, oh, another thing about this guy is a little hidden funny fact that some of you may not know about. He actually got done in the World Cup for scoring a goal and then flashing Paddy Power Boxes. He got fined a, a shitload of money for doing that as well. And then we've got Niall Ranger, who has been one of the most vicious slash naughty boys in this team. I mean, this guy, yeah, he's been done for drink driving. He's been done for gang violence. He's be, he got done when he was 15 years old for doing an armed robbery. Um, all through his career, he's just been in prison. He's... Apparently, he's had more he's had more court appearances than he's actually had game appearances for Newcastle, which is just ridiculous. And to be honest, he's not even that bad of a player either. He's just an absolute little cunt in real life. But now, on to the first team, lads. And first of all, it gets a little bit funny because in goal, we've got De Gea, which he isn't really a criminal. But what he did is so funny that I had to put him in. He actually got caught stealing a donut from, um, I'm not sure what shop it was, but he just he, he tried stealing a Krispy Kreme for no reason. He's got all the, he's got enough money, he's probably got over 30, 40 grand a week, and he stole a donut, so I mean, he goes down for being an absolute donut, and he had to be in this team. Then centre back, this is where it starts getting a little bit serious now, lads. This little cunt, and as a lot of you know, I'm black myself, has been done for calling, do any of you know, remember Man, Manol, the uh, Brazil from FIFA 12, he was a beast, a black guy. This guy got in a lot of trouble for calling him a monkey and a nigger, if I'm even allowed to say that on YouTube. But yeah, he, he, he got done for calling that. He got fined loads of money. He got banned from playing. And he, he got a lot of hate shoved due because, for doing it. So I have got no respect for this guy. And in my opinion, he is an absolute idiot. But that's what he got done for. We then got... Bum, bum, bum. Who is it? it Titus Bramble, who... He goes down as being one of the worst footballer, professional footballers ever. Uh, to, to this day, I don't even know how he is a professional footballer. He is terrible. Is there anyone out there who can tell me he's actually good at football? Because he's not. He got done for a rape. For actual... Uh, um, what was he doing? He tried luring a girl back to a hotel and raping her, apparently, or something like that. So, not being a good boy himself. And then we've got John Terry, who we all know what he did. He's actually been done for racist comments towards Anton Ferdinand. He's been done for shagging numerous amounts of wives. And he's probably been... Oh, he's actually... Apparently, I'm not sure, this This is just rumours. He used to be a... Not a gang... A hooligan, a football hooligan. But I'm not actually sure if that's true. But there we go. And now on to our CDMs. We have got, obviously, Joey Barton. Wow, is it is it a crime Joey Barton hasn't done? He's been caught for beating people up. He's been caught for drink driving. I no, yet his brother was actually the one who got done for racism, not him. But anyway, he's been done for slagging off officials. He's been done for trying to beat people up. He's just been done for so many violent crimes in and out of pubs. He's been hit and punched when he's just been like out of his family and stuff so many times for just having this face of being an absolute idiot. But there we go. If any any of you can go and look at the video on YouTube as well, where Joey Batten actually beats someone up, beats batters someone on the street as well, him and his mate. So, not not a good boy. 
Then we've got Lee Catamore, who a lot of you may not even know. On the pitch, he's aggressive, but he's also been known to be aggressive all out off the pitch as well, again, if you speak properly. Uh, apparently, he was put on pub watch list, which means, I, I think, it means you're bad from pubs or they keep a very close watch on you. I'm not sure what it means, but he was put on that like three times from 2010 to 2012 for just fighting and drunk and disorderly. He's been arrested loads and loads of times and he's also been done for drink driving with Nicholas Bedner as well. So there we go. He's been he's been in quite a lot of trouble, Catamore, funny enough. Right mid then we have got Jermaine Pennant. It is Jermaine Pennant, yeah, definitely. He used to play for Arsenal. If any of you can remember, he was actually the first footballer in the world to play on electronic tag. He, he was actually on tag playing football for Birmingham, which is... It is crazy. It's almost speechless. It's like, how can you play on tag? That is... Ugh, that's ridiculous. But he's been done for drink driving. And just looking at him there with his tattoo on his neck, he looks like a bit of a nutter. Uh, a bit of a sniffhead, if you get what I mean. But he's been done for drink driving, uh, drug charges, and other things as well. So, not not a good boy either. Then we've got Frank Ribery, which some of you finally a different... Well, other than... This guy, a different guy who's not Premiership. They're all English as well, fucking hell. But we've got Frank Ribery who got done with someone out. Well, actually, I haven't included him. Well, it was with Benzema for shagging an underage girl. He paid cash. And uh, the story goes on and on and on. If you go and look at it on his Wikipedia, I, I, I found out a lot of things about a lot of footballers on Wikipedia. But apparently, he paid for it on his birthday. He fl flew her out to go and see him and all that. She was just some underage girl, slapper, that he paid. And uh, they all just, they all shagged her for like £2,000 each or something like that. And uh, apparently, he shagged her two years previous when she was 16 as well. So, Frank Ribery has been very naughty with his willy and he got in a lot of trouble for that as well. Uh, centre attacking mid then, we have got, no it's not centre attacking mid, he is actually A. I've got him in striker. We have got David Goodwillie, if I can find him, who has been in also a lot of trouble. This guy has been done for knocking a bouncer out unconscious. He got done for having a scrap with Dean Windass in the middle of a casino. <clears throat> no, was it him? No, 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 that was Marlon King, that was Marlon King. He has been done for just beating people up and and he's got a very bad temper and he's been, for, been done for drink driving. Well. A lot of footballers seem to get done for drink driving. Why don't they just catch a taxi on? But there we go, he's been in quite, if you look at his Wikipedia, he's been in a lot of trouble through his uh, past as well. And then we've got Balotelli. I know you may say, God, Balotelli's not a criminal. I mean, you could have put loads of people in here. Like, I could have put Suarez there. I probably could have put, uh, I can't think of the top of my head, but there was a few more. But I thought to myself, what's a team like this without Balotelli in it? Balotelli does what he wants. It, he doesn't give a fuck about the law. He just does what he wants. Even though he hasn't done anything that's serious, he just, he probably drink drives when he wants, takes drugs when he wants, shot fireworks out of his house when he wants. He just does, literally. He's a, he's a good guy as well, but he, he's above the law in his eyes. He just does whatever he wants. So I had to put him in here. And then we've got Marlon King, possibly the most notorious guy in this team by far. Has been done, for, like I said, having a scrap with Dean Windass, Dean Windass sorry, in a casino. He had butted him. He's been done for drink driving. He's been done for beating people up. He's been done for taking drugs. He's been done for everything. He's so he's got. He's been in prison. He's the only player in this team who's actually been in prison for like a year. He went to prison for, if any of you can remember, when he's playing for Watford. So he is. <laughs> He has just been, you know, he's had a very bad career. And there was actually a few more players that are not in this game, lads. Like some of you may say Chad Evans, who is in prison for rape. Then there was another guy I found from the Brazilian League, which I found this very interesting. Like, oh, some of you, some of you may know his name. Bruno, his name is. Go and, go and check him out, please. You'll be very interested in this. He got done for kidnapping his wife, chopping her up into little bits, feeding her to the dogs, and stashing the rest of it under concrete pavements. That is just mind blowing. He did that over child support. She wanted child support off him. I mean, he gets he was probably in a Brazilian. He getting over twenty grand a week, and he killed her over child support. So that is crazy. So there's more. There's probably more that you lot can know. Leave me a comment, like I said, and remember to leave me teams as well. But lads, we're going to some gameplay and see how these bunch of criminals actually play. So here we go anyway lads, we have our first game against, oh he's only got 50 chemistry for once, finally we have came up against a team that isn't sweaty like I normally come against, but this is going to be interesting, he's got 5 at the back, but uh, my bunch of criminals are just going to knock half his team out so I don't really care, let's go, go on Balotelli, go on Balotelli, oh ho ho, Balotelli does what he wants, he does what he wants, he does what he wants. You see, I'm not doing that shush, and he's doing that himself. I've literally had my hands off my pad then. Balotelli shushes when he wants. Easy. 
Come on, Ribbery, you rapist. Ribbery, the rapist. Ribbery, the rapist. Da, 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 da. Ribbery, the racist. No, not the, ra the racist, the rapist. Man. Oh, th this is easy. 2 nil up. Five minutes gone. Can it? The criminals have struck first. This is like playing with a prison team. Go on, son. It's Marlon King, mate. Marlon King. Oh, what a run. Fair play. Some of these players are actually pretty sick. Marlon King absolute skinned him then. We've been bagged. I've, no, I've been bagged. Michael Royce. Michael Royce has just done the whole team. Oh, that's a good goal. Even though... Jermaine Defoe winning headers. Two sex. But that, I've been bagged there completely. Michael Royce skinned me. Go on, Balotelli. Do what you want, son. Do what you want, Balotelli. Little bag there, mate. Whoop. Balotelli does what he wants. Ref will take the penalty. Thank you. Easy, mate. Balotelli does what he wants. Easy. Send him, ref. Oh, Ferdinand gets away with it again. I'll tell you what. We're going to give the racist the pen. Where is he? The little mug. Let's see if he can step up and do anything right. Oh, right, okay. Okay, you're racist. I'm not, I'm not even going to celebrate. Good half, boys. That is a decent half. I mean, I'm surprised all of the players have managed to stay on the pitch. But here we go. Here we go. It's a good half. We're at 3 1. We've got a racist score. We got a racist score. Rapist, racist. And then we got Balotelli who just does what he wants. Oh, he's been battered. <laughs> he's been battered. Mate, you want to you wanna send me offside, ref? I'll knock you out. That's what Marlon King just said, mate. I'll fuck you up. Oh, it's good, Willy. It's good, Willy. Good, Willy. Has got a bad Willy for trying to rape other girls. Hey. Oh, go on, son. Oh, go on, Balicelli. Do what you want, mate. Oh, that would have been sick. That would have been absolutely sick. Up, oh, what? 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 Ribbery! Oh, what a goal! Ribbery the racist! Ribbery the racist! I keep calling him a racist, he's a rapist, man. Fuck. Backed out. He's gonna back out, boys. Ah, looks like the prison team has prevailed. 5 1, lads. If you have enjoyed this, please remember to leave it a thumbs up. It will help me out a lot. If you can get us 500 likes, I will be happy. Remember, leave a comment below if you want to see more. And I'll speak to you next time, lads. Peace.